Old mackerel. It's Team Schlitz versus the Glaciers. Always that rematch from last winter's championship. Got to give the Glaciers some credit. I was down after this game, thought I played the worst game of the season. Uh, after looking at the video, it wasn't, uh, maybe maybe it was, but uh, we, we showed a lot of heart, and it was an excellent game. And they're a good team. They got a couple really good players. 16 is very good. This, As you can see right there, uh, walking everybody. It's a non-contact league, but we got to do something. And we did do something. We, we adjusted our play. This game was a functional chess match all around. We didn't give up. We were up. Like You'll see that late in the game, the third period, there's a total of like five goals that have been scored, and the end, end of the game it ends up being 8-5. It was crazy. Um, it was really nuts. Gibby, of course, uh, was a factor, as he always is. He gets a couple goals, and there's a ton of highlights in this game. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we're going to see a goal from the point coming. Not there, but we will see one from number nine. Handyman. Oh, Golzanski makes some stops. There's a lot of highlights of Golzanski making saves in this game. Let's see. <laughs> it was an active game. Late on a Wednesday night. I don't know. It didn't have the spark that I usually do uh, playing this game for some reason. I don't know. A lot, lot going on. Overworked. Look at Gibby moving. Just speed going too fast for the puck at certain points in this game. It's back and forth. It's back and forth. A lot of heavy. I really feel like we we both played. Actually, they did not call that, if I remember correctly. Don't think they called that. Or maybe they did. I think they did. Because we were down one nothing, and then I, if you take a look at you know percentage of time of the game, of who held the lead, we should keep track of that. I think we held the lead for more of the game than they did. I hit Clover in the ass with that shot when I should have put it in. Yeah, that sucked. We didn't get some bounces at points in this game, too. That's another reason we didn't win. It, was, it felt like a one-goal game. Palms, uh, Captain Palm said that. By the way, nice pass there. Gibby's just going to go up. Short side, upper 90. Bread basket, where they hide the cookies. Says, says like Melrose or Sherry. Somebody says that. What the other team can't do right there, as you can see right afterward. So it makes it 1-1. Paul has a busted skate. His boot is separated from his frame. And that's why he's, you can see it. When, when your skate, when your uh, tools go down, uh, uh, you, you look very bad, and it sucks. And you feel like, ah, there's nothing I can do. So he's got to get that skate fixed. Doing the best we can to contain here. Even trying to contain him, he still manages to get the puck somehow and barely missed something far side on the ice. He goes on the ice a lot, too. Missed a couple. You'll see a slap shot he has later in the game. I don't know what his name is. I will get his name. Doop! But Gibby can do it, and it's 2-1, right? So we take the lead 10:47 into the second period, right? Or first period? Second period. Oh, and then Phil ties it up right after. Maybe we didn't hold the lead for most of this. No, I think we do take a 3-2 lead here, though, don't we? I don't know. It was a, re it was a really good game. It was excellent highlights. Thank you for Gibby Sr. doing a great job on video. No penalty call there, Phil. Dirty Swede. What the hell is that all about? Phil's a good player. Phil always a Phil in, between 16 and 94 on blue. That's what we got to do. So we got to watch them and we neutralize them in the championship when it matters. Team Schlitz comes to play, and you can see that this guy just misses far side on the ice. So you, his stick almost kind of broke on that shot. He's probably got a busted blade because it, it, oh, it's very close. And he just misses that too. It's terrible. Just look at me on the ice playing like crap. Like oh, we can't. Oh, Jesus. Later in the game, a similar play like that happens, and they manage to score, or just pops out up front. Gibby going the other way. Palm says, "I'm going to be selfish. We need it. We need it. I want the game winner. We thought we were going to win three two. Way to go, Palms. Way to follow that up. Who needs Gibby? It's just just wallflower on that one. I think Palms had two goals. Palms and, and Saluski showed up tonight, even though that's not his last name, and he did." Uh, he played just fine. He has a nice assist on Palm's goal later in the game that gets us back in the game. Everyone was, ah, you can't feel too bad about this. I felt terrible after the game. Don't feel that bad after watching the video. It's, they're a good team. We're a good team. This is excellent. I mean, you'll see as we beat the crap out of the Pew next week uh, how how much better th these two and the Bruins are better than the Caps and the Pew, who I think the Caps are like 0-10 probably by now, and the Pew only has wins against the Caps, so... 
By the way, Caps and Poise, can't you guys get some better players? Caps and Poise. Oh, mm. What happens? Oh, we're going the other way. Are we going to have seeds? Even when we play good D and get the puck on him, it just drops to other places. You know, that's a sign of a good player who's they're following the puck with their feet or they're, they're making sure that it's not just a clean loss when they lose the puck. I don't know whether I forgot to delete video here or why I'm showing all this. Is this because we go the other way and get a goal? This is Austin, right? Oh, no, that was a solid uh, non-check check. That's about as good as you can get. Just getting in the way. It was, it's good defense. I think that's why I wanted to show this. Um, or maybe I did forget to delete stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I was wondering why this video went long. I'm not cutting the audio now. No, we're coming back the other way. <laughs> you can see that, that not all of the video is excellent and really intriguing, but this is pretty good. I don't know. I don't know why I'm showing this. How much of this did I leave in? Well, you can show that we're working the puck and doing what we can, and it's 3 to us, it's, uh, representing how much of the game we were ahead. Now, yeah, okay. So this is Baker. Oh, man. Wow, that's, that's a close one. So it could have been 4-2 us, right? Then Gibby just goes too fast for the puck here. Just goes right by the goal. Oh, there's probably good defense there poking in. And then just couldn't connect on the pass. I don't want somebody following. Uh, Golzanski still be So it's 3-2 us. Oh, yeah. That gets poked in. Like, the, the ref blew the whistle, we think, before that went in. They count that. Then they start the third period and watch this. Phil cuts to the inside, and then somebody pokes at it, goes up in the air over Golzanski's head. I try to whack it out, and I felt like I was trying to reach for a baby that was falling down a well, and I just couldn't get there. And I was like, God damn it. And so now it's, now it's what? Now they're winning? Right? 4-3? I think that's what that said. Ugh, what happened? And we managed... Oh, no, yeah, and it pops out, and now it's 5-3, and all of a sudden... We go, we're like, what the hell happened? That's what bad luck can do. Some bad bounces can do for you. But this is the thing about us, and this is why we're champions. <laughs> and no call there either. By the way, uh, I think that guy's name's Jeremy. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Um, uh, eh, step in there. Oh, yeah, and then I don't know what the hell happened to me. I got my skate cut in the wall or something. Skate right by the puck. <laughs> I mean, what was happening? What was happening? Five, three, and it even, it even gets worse. We're not able, we stop them here, we're not able to, to make it five, four. What happens here? You know, we've got some chances. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you know, good good goaltending. It's a good game. That's why it's a good game. Even through all this, we end up getting down six, three, because I get caught up. Yeah, look at this. I accidentally kicked this. Oh, it's a terrible, Gibby makes a good pass to me. I kick it back over the blue line by accident, and it comes out to 16, who's just standing in front of Golzanski having fun, just going 5 hole for no reason. Uh, so now it's 6-3, right? Oh, my God. And, you know, wait a minute, Saluski back to Palms. Yeah! Right, Palms says, hey, Cap this is what a captain does. Cap when things look the bleakest, captain steps up, makes it 6-4. So we were never out of it. 6-4, we're going to make it 6-5, because that's what we do. Handyman, that's right. Let her rip. No screen. Who needs it? And then Gibby almost, almost very good save there. In the championship game and the big games, we make sure that, that we win these. You know, and that's and that's what we do. So um, hold on, I lost my video for a second. Uh, and we're back. So it's, uh, I don't know what I missed. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're only down by one. It's 6-5. We pull the goalie. And, we, yeah, we don't get it out. We get beat to the puck. And, of course, who is it? It's 16, right? And he's just going to walk in, I believe, go even upstairs on the empty net. So Luzki could knock it out of the air point blank. And, and then we put Zansky back in, and we get burnt. Again, and then it's just the way it went after that. Uh, so, yeah, it's okay. It was a good game. We really felt more like a one-goal game. It was a little more than a one-goal game. Uh, but we will. We, we can't complain too much, you know. Hey, awesome. So, Team Schlitz, we're taking on the two next week. Let's keep go. Ken Stock Hockey, baby.